This new report comes more than a year and a half after the first visit from the OIG's office back in 2020. I'm outraged. I can't speak for anybody else, but I was, I was saddened. Many of the problems the OIG's office detailed from its first visit are still there. The new report includes a picture taken in December 2020 of a rat on a windowsill. In July of this year, that same rat was still there. Inspector General Isabel Cummings says it's unacceptable. The big problem, of course, was the, the, ro the rodents and there was still an infestation. Um, we were told that um, we had hired a company but apparently the company did not include removing rodents in their cleaning, <laughs> so it just stayed there. In response to the rodent issues, Health Department Commissioner Dr. Letitia Jaraza wrote a letter to the OIG's office that the janitorial staff told them that, quote, removal of dead rodents is outside their scope of services. The Health Department says it has revised the contract with that company to help resolve that issue. Along with the infestations, the report also detailed several maintenance and storage concerns, including these cardboard boxes kept in an electrical panel room creating a fire hazard. The report does acknowledge improvements at the clinic, including temperature controls and installing a fence around the dumpster, which was overflowing and attracting rodents. This is something that's used every day by citizens of Baltimore. So if anything should have a priority, that should be it. The letter from the health commissioner says they are making good faith efforts to continue progress with all the problems. I think she was truthful. However, um, I, I just, I think it has to be more of a priority. The health department released a statement about the report, writing in part, as with previous reports, we are working to remedy the issues inside the building as best we can. We value the health and safety of our patients and staff and are actively seeking both short-term and long-term solutions to the issues flagged in the report. In the newsroom tonight, Kyrie, WBAL-TV 11.